All right, everyone, welcome to the newest episode of Heal Thyself. Wow, I have a show when it comes to your home. This Knowledge Bomb show is going to be so important. If you're living in a home or you've been renting for over 10 years, this, this is going to be the show that you need to listen to. We're not talking about this enough. There is something in the home, one in 15 homes have it, that can absolutely affect your health and the health of your family. And it's not talked about enough in health. It's not talked about enough in social media. It's not even talked about enough when you buy a home. It's mentioned. But we need to be vigilant about this very particular chemical that we're being exposed to. It's gonna be a really good episode because you can test this chemical for really cheap in your home to protect you and your family. What an amazing week of shows we have for Heal Thyself. All right, this knowledge bomb is all about something called radon. It's not talked about enough in medicine, but it has to be. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer and it is possible that it is in your home. But worry not, I'm gonna give you everything you need to stay protected from radon. Well, what is it? It's a naturally occurring radioactive gas that results from the radioactive breakdown of uranium. And that's in soil and rock and in water. It's colorless, it's odorless, it's tasteless. So it's difficult to detect without the proper equipment. Radon exposure is a significant health concern because it's the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. The EPA estimates that about 21,000 lung cancer deaths each year in the United States are radon related. Now, when it comes to radon, the levels will vary geographically, but elevated levels have been found in homes of many countries across the world and all throughout the United States. The World Health Organization notes that radon is a worldwide health risk. And the thing about radon is the levels can vary greatly from one home to another, even if it's on the same street. So factors such as soil composition, home construction, and ventilation can all influence the levels of radon inside a house. Now the EPA action level for radon is four picocuries, that's the measurement, per liter. Four picocuries per liter of air. Home with radon levels at or above this threshold are recommended to take remedial action to reduce radon levels. Now, let's go back to radon in itself. How is it making us sick? All right, let's face it, with all the toxins we're exposed to nowadays from processed foods, pollutants, and even stress, our poor livers are working overtime. If you've been feeling sluggish or bloated or just overall run down, it may be time to give your hardworking liver some extra love and support. That is where Organifi's Liver Detox comes in. It's a convenient little capsule that contains a powerhouse blend of clinically studied superfoods. And these are designed to remove excess toxins and improve your overall digestion and energy levels. One of the key ingredients in there is artichoke leaf extract. I've been loving this one for years, which has been clinically proven to help detoxify the liver and digestive tract. Then you got one of the all-star ones, milk thistle. I know you know about this one. It's an herb that's been used for centuries and basically is a big old hug to your liver. But that's not all. Organifi's liver detox also contains dandelion root, which is absolutely loaded with vitamins and minerals to promote healthy liver function and digestion. And finally, trephalia is an ancient Ayurvedic formula packed with antioxidants that's been traditionally used as a powerful liver tonic. So whether you're dealing with sluggish digestion or low energy, or just wanna give your body's main detox engine a little extra love, Organifi's Liver Detox has got your back. Take one of three capsules at any point during the day to start supporting your liver's natural detox pathways. I can't think of any easier way to show the liver some love. If you're interested on some proper liver support, go to OrganifiShop.com. Use the code DRG for 20% off. That is O-R-G-A-N-I-F-I Shop.com. And the code is DRG. Now, let's go back to radon in itself. How is it making us sick? Well, the gas slips through the cracks or the foundation of the home. It goes undetected and it rises up into the air you breathe. The gas enters the lungs and the byproducts of the decay, the radioactive decay, are called alpha particles. They adhere to the lining of the lungs and are highly ionizing and inflammatory to the tissue. Ionizing means that it carries enough energy to disrupt the atoms that make up the molecules that make up the cells that make up the tissue of the lungs. It's causing oxidative stress overall and leading to mutations in the genes of lung cells. So if these mutations occur in cancer genes that we have, that either stop or go cancer genes, they can disrupt the normal cell growth and division, leading to the formation of malignant tumors in your lung. Yes, so when it comes to radon, remember, it's odorless. You can't smell it, you can't even taste it, you don't even know it's there. 
Now there's a dose response relationship. The risk of lung cancer increases with the concentration of radon and the duration of the exposure. There's no known safe level of radon exposure, but risks are higher at elevated concentrations. It's not just gonna happen if you move to a house and been there for a month, you're not gonna get lung cancer. Usually this is prolonged over time if you're there for 10, 15, 20 years. Now smoking significantly increases the risk of lung cancer from radon exposure. The combination of radon exposure and smoking can synergistically elevate the lung cancer risk beyond the risk from smoking or radon alone. So I'm gonna tell you the steps to remove radon from your home, very easily to protect you and your family. You gotta go get a radon test. Testing is the only way to determine a home's radon level. Radon tests are inexpensive, they're easy to use, they're available at hardware stores, online, local health departments. A quick Amazon search shows that these tests are under $20. If you never had a radon test, go do it, especially if you own a home or have been renting in the same home for quite a while. Now there's two types of tests that are out there. Short-term tests, these are the most common radon tests. They're used for initial screenings and typically run from two to seven days. And short-term tests are useful for quick assessments especially during real estate transactions or after installing a radon mitigation system, which I'm gonna go into in a little bit. Long-term tests provide a more accurate picture of average radon levels over an extended period, usually over three months to a year. So as radon levels fluctuate, you know, just whether it's daily or even seasonally, now you can get a long-term picture in your home seeing, yeah, what is the exposure for me and my family? And is it low enough that we don't have to really worry or is it really high? and we only saw this because we tested it for multiple months or year round. But the tests are easy. You place the radon test kit in the lowest level of the home that it's regularly used, whether it's the basement, if it's a living space, or the first floor if the basement is unfinished or not regularly used. Avoid putting it anywhere in the kitchen or the bathroom or laundry rooms where you have high ventilation or humidity. That's gonna affect the results. Now, for testing, keep the windows and doors closed as much as possible during short-term testing except for the normal entry and exit. Avoid testing during stormy or windy conditions. Again, we wanna keep the air consistent. You're not having the ventilation or airflow. You want it to capture the real-time test and real-time reflection of what's going on. And just follow the instructions provided with the kit for accurate results. And then after the testing period, we seal the test kit and send it out to the lab and they analyze it for you. And remember, radon levels are measured in picocuries per liter of air. The EPA action level is four picocuries per liter, meaning that any reading that you're gonna get from this lab back to you at or above this level is considered high and actually requires action to reduce these radon levels. So what are the next steps after you have high radon levels? Do you find yourself hitting snooze over and over, desperately clinging to those last few minutes of sleep? Or maybe you wake up feeling somewhat rested only to crash hard mid-afternoon. If that sounds like your typical day, you are not alone. Between juggling work and family and friends and all the other obligations, it's no wonder so many of us are running on fumes. This is where Magnesium Breakthrough comes in. It's a cutting edge supplement. It's designed to help reduce fatigue and get the deep restorative sleep you've been craving for. And it does much more than that. Magnesium Breakthrough contains the optimal ratio of seven essential types of magnesium to strengthen muscles, improve heart health, and boost your brain function. Unlike other magnesium products that are incomplete, this full spectrum formula covers all the bases you've been looking for. Imagine having stamina and focus to knock out your daily tasks and obligations without turning into a zombie, like a lot of you right now are feeling if you're listening to this midday, right? And the power of just getting magnesium levels optimized can help solve so much of this. If you've experienced what it feels like to actually be rested for once, head to biooptimizers.com slash DRG and try Magnesium Breakthrough for yourself even better. Our friends at Bioptimizers are running an amazing deal right now. Just use the code DRG10 for a discount plus up to two free travel size bottles with your purchase. That is bioptimizers.com slash DRG, B-I-O-P-T-I-M-I-Z-E-R-S.com slash DRG. Use the code DRG10 for 10% off plus two free travel size bottles. If a short-term test shows high levels of radon, then you can conduct a follow-up test, either a short-term one for quicker verification or a long-term one for better understanding of the average exposure to can really, really, really confirm the results. If the second test also shows high levels, now you wanna consider installing a radon mitigation system. Even if radon levels are below the EPA action level, any radon exposure carries some risk. 
Lowering rate on levels below two picocuries per liter can still improve health outcomes. In the context of mitigation methods, if high levels of radon are detected, mitigation systems can effectively reduce these levels. The techniques often involve ventilating your home's foundation and improving the ventilation of your house to prevent radon from entering and accumulating and affecting your health. When a system is properly installed, radon reduction systems can reduce it by 99%. The cost varies depending on the home size, of course, the foundation, the climate, and other factors, but it's actually comparable to other home repairs. And to be safe, you can actually have continuous radon monitors testing. For any homeowners interested in looking at their radon levels, you can actually just invest in one of these digital radon monitors, and these levels are gonna really provide ongoing readings, allowing for real-time monitoring over time, these radon levels to make sure you're protected. So look, if you're going to buy a home, make sure the radon levels are tested. Don't go buying a home without having at least a short-term measurement of the radon levels. If you bought a home and no one ever spoke to you about radon or they said the radon's fine, but if they use a short-term test, do a long-term test. Just even if you're listening to this and you own a home, it's really important to do this for the health of you and your children. So go get a long-term test, go measure it over three months, four months, five months, really get an idea of what is the foundation and radon exposure of your home. And then if you need to mitigate the home, especially if you're gonna stay there for a long time, it's, it's an investment that is really worthwhile, especially because it's the second leading cause of lung cancer behind smoking that really no one's talking about. So this episode, very much so, is here to help you. I hope this episode was able to help you in every single way. Don't get too alarmed, you're good, you ain't gonna die, but make sure you're doing your interventions to protect you and your family. Thank you.